Oh, it's right here. Look at that. No uh, way. It's the shrine for the girl. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Wait, should we give her the best one? Yeah, we should give her the best candy. Oh man, I like the Oreos too. I'm gonna give her a, oh, I don't know. I think if I was a ghost, I would like I'm gonna go with Oh, which is this, 10 pesos? Yes. I came across this hotel in the middle of downtown Mexico City called Posada del Sol, Hotel of the Sun. And when it was built 100 years ago, it was supposed to be one of the most beautiful in the entire country. The owner was an architect and he sculpted every stone, he laid mosaics in the floors and walls, and he hired famous artists to paint murals all over the hotel. However, the hotel was only ever open for eight months, and then it was closed. They said that he had ties with the Freemasons, and there was some internal problems. There's also stories of a girl dying in the basement, and no one ever knowing why. After it was abandoned, Negro Durazo, a very corrupt and very famous police chief here, was said to torture students in the basement. I don't know how much that is true, but we've been given access to the hotel today. It's been abandoned for a very long time, and I'm excited to show you. But I've got to stash the camera first. of the name of the architect and owner of this place, yes. Fernando Saldaña Galvan. He made this in 1945 when the hotel was taken. This is very important because this is like a, um, how do you say, curse? Uh -huh. Curse to the people that took the hotel from him. Wow. So this is like some quick in Latin, right? So it's like more or less like what comes around goes around. Right? So because this was taken from the owner, he wrote this, he carved this in, and then he basically put a curse on them because they took this from him. And you took this from me and something will be taken from you someday. And they just ch 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 before he left. This. So, so the story goes that all the musicians played in this area and the sound would go up into the hole in the ceiling. There's boards over it now, but it would reflect up into the people drinking and dining on the floor above. Hopefully we can check that out too. And so, did you see downstairs the hole in the ceiling? Yeah, I saw that. This is where the music would come out, up top. People would be chilling here, oh, like, really? having a drink, just relaxing, having some food. Posada del Sol? Yeah, yeah. Posada del Sol. And then the music would come up, bounce off the ceiling, and everyone would just be able to chill here and enjoy the music. You 
think we're missing anything cool in this section. No, the theater's this way. So we, we got this. Uh, maybe the Do we know what's upstairs? No. No. Follow the light. Follow the light. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the piano. It's a penis. It's one of them their penises. <laughs> one of them phallic objects. <laughs> oh. This is an angel. Oh, and that's... this is like a demo. It is the angel. So that's the angel. All right, here we are. This is the basement. Yeah, we gotta go um, pay our, our dues and respects. Jesus uh, Christ, man. Give our the girl. What was her name? Anyone know? Does anyone know her name? I don't know her name. No, that's not that's not that's not no? See, I don't even know. Looks almost... What is that stuff? Something... I don't know. <laughs> so, there's a legend. I'm gonna say it's him. It's him. Legend. Here, here to the right. Oh, it's right here. Look at that. No oh. way. It's the shrine for the girl. You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> the rumors are there's a little girl who died when the hotel was in service and they found her body. No one knows how she died, but they put her dress and a photo of her in the basement. And now when you come here, you have to give her candy so she doesn't haunt you. Cody, no one likes melted chocolate bars. I'm hoping she forgives me. <laughs> She's gonna haunt the shit out of you. All these things are what uh, people have brought her over the years. So what, the story was that she lost her parents, fell into the basement, and then no. they found her body? She died and nobody could find her. And suddenly they found her dead. And they made they don't this. Know why. They don't know why. And did she die? And she died in this dress. Okay. Dude, I've got one lollipop. lollipop. I hear she likes those. There you go. Please let us escape here safely. Both of you guys, come here. So we are just finishing our day exploring Posada del Sol. This is a spot that I found on a, like a Spanish website and I was looking for another crazy haunted mansion. This one came up and I was like, oh my God, this is like three blocks from where I'm living in Mexico City. So we checked it out. Um, I hit up these guys, they came down to Mexico City and we've lined up a couple cool things to film that are all abandoned, but so happy we could make this happen. I mean, this guy literally calls me two days, three days ago, two days ago. <laughs> after I got back three from Bali, he's like, hey, come to Mexico. We got this sick hotel we're doing, Doll Island. I'm like. Okay, I think I can make it, and I just flew down here. And here I was I like, I've got here a spot are. that I think you guys are gonna love. <laughs> and we loved, we loved it. It was like, I think it was one of my favorite places we've ever been. Yeah, it was. If not me, top, down. hands down. This yeah. is exploring with Cody. This is exploring with Josh. Their links will be right after this, also below the description. Yes. This is my girl from Arianella. <laughs> Big hand for her for doing the translation. If it wasn't for her, we wouldn't be here. Yeah, we would. exactly. <laughs> Experience over possessions. Kick the grind. Kick the grind. Ooh, Catch you guys, guys next Wednesday. <laughs> This is an old bathroom, right? See the old shower head. Hey.